Hello and welcome to this quick lesson on support and resistance. Support and resistance is used to identify key levels where the trend in the price has a greater probability of halting or possibly changing direction. As you know in the market usually what goes up and comes down it is correct to say that resistance becomes support and support becomes resistance. If we have a look here we've got the pound USD we're on the weekly time frame. Um, the support and resistance levels are more significant on the bigger time frames and you can see here I've plotted up a few support and resistance levels and if we have to go on to the daily time frame you can see how prevalent they've become you can see that what was resistance now becomes support support back to resistance what was resistance, resistance becomes support, support goes back up to resistance. And you can see how the story unfolds. Support indicates an area that buyers are stepping up in the market to support the price of any forex instrument or any stock instrument for that matter of fact as well. For example, if a forex pair keeps to a certain price and it bounces off that figure, it means that there is a support at that price. So as you can see here, the price comes down, bounces off, gets supported, resisted, supported, resisted, and then breaks through. These support levels are created by a successful buyers, so the price level is below the current market price at which buying interest should be able to overcome selling. Resistance is the opposite of support and reveals an area where sellers are entering and dumping supply into the market. This causes the price to fail from going any higher. So as we can see here, the sellers come into the market, dumping supply there, which fails, which causes the price to fail to breach this level. And we have a turn to the downside. So one of two things can happen when prices approach support and resistance level. The first is it can react as a reversal point, as we've seen over here. The first, and in other words, when the price drops to the support level, it will turn around and go back, as we can see over here. The other possibility is that the support and resistance levels reverse roles once they are penetrated, once, once they are breached. For example, when the market price falls below support level, that former support level will then become resistance level, when the market later trades back up to it. So if we use this as, a, as an example where we rallied up, we broke through it, we bounced, became support, came back up, supported again, and went back up to the upside. So, so that is how you can place your support and resistance levels and you can use them for entry and exits. If we go on to a smaller time frame and you can see how significant they can be. You can see we broke up, we came down, we got support, it went back up. And if you take a look at these candlesticks here, you can actually see how price closed just before it opened at the same level. Although we went down, we did close higher, which indicates that the buyers are back into the market to push the price higher. On each time frame, there are support and resistance levels that can be used to help a trader enter or exit or manage their trades. The time frames have a significant relevance to support and res resistance levels. The bigger the time frame, the more important or the more significant those levels will be. Support and resistance on a weekly chart are more significant than on a daily chart, which will be more significant than on an intraday chart, so thing like a, a one hour chart. Turning points are defined as the starting price of a price swing till the ending price of the price swing. These price points are where the battles between the buyers and the sellers, the bulls and the bears, will occur and the winners will move the market in a certain direction. A significant turning point is a point that has been tested multiple times, especially if the price point has been resisted and later becomes support. So that is 
the, le the lesson on support and resistance. Thanks for watching and we'll be in with the next one.